good news. Well, there was news. Um, I couldn't really tell if it was good because I didn't know what was really happening based on what they were showing. And then I started doing some digging. And of course, Caleb knew some of the answers, right, Caleb? Well, I've been watching all day pretty much. Uh, but yeah. So tell me, tell tell us what's been happening. Well, Come on. It, Don't hold it's back. It's been an interesting uh, day in New Hampshire. Don't hold it's back. Been, uh, it's been an, yeah. Uh, Bernie, Bernie did win New Hampshire, but it was it was closer actually than uh, than it should have been because of that uh, because of that fuckery in uh, in Iowa. Uh huh. Uh, it, uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming that that, that had something to do with, uh, with, with Pete's uh, unexpectedly, uh, a good, uh, showing, but he ended up uh, coming in second. And, uh, Bernie, Bernie, uh, Bernie won the, 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 uh, you know, the, the, the delegate count by, I think, over, over 5,000. Uh-huh. But, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that it was the delegate count, from the voter count. I'm not sure how the delegate count. Uh, you know, those those things are are done differently. They use different math and, and different formulas. And uh, having the most voters will not necessarily guarantee you the most delegates because it's you know something like uh, the same way that, that that the electoral process works. You know, mm -hmm. you can't. Uh, you, uh, I, I explain how, how how those things work. I, I I don't really understand them completely, but I know that that, that there's a that, that there is a way that those things work, and uh, and so uh, somebody else is is, is going to have to figure that out. And, and but it, but it, it, by any metric, and by all uh, and by all other indications, Bernie ended up winning this one, and. Uh, uh, and and this is good news for Bernie uh -huh. because these were the the two toughest ones. Were the they? Two, uh, yeah, the oh. two first would, would be the toughest because uh, they have the, the highest, uh, uh, or I should say, the lowest uh, percentage of, of, of minorities. When mm. he starts getting into the, into the states with more minorities, mm -hmm. uh, his support among the Latinos and blacks. Really, really comes through and uh, and, uh, and and carries them everywhere. Mm. So, uh, so these uh, predominantly white states like Iowa and New Hampshire were big tests for him. Yeah. Uh, if if Pete if, if, if Pete Buttigieg had, had won either of those states, uh, it, it still would not have, would not have meant very much to him because he still has no support among among. Uh, Minorities and, and, uh, and people of color, or or, or uh, you know, many of the uh, the younger voters, the younger voters don't don't like him very much. And the only people that, that really care for him are the uh, are the older, more moderate, you know, people with uh, with something to lose, essentially. What about um uh? So tell tell me, I saw that there was a um a tweet. That said that they had won second place. What was it again? Um, which one was it? You're you're muffled. You you sound muffled. I'm late. That's top of my microphone. Okay. Anyway, so the uh, the uh, the Reuters headline says that uh, uh, or, or it's a tweet. Oh, well, I saw Reuters. Yeah, yeah. Reuters. Yeah, it's called Reuters. Okay. Reuters. Okay. It says Pete Buttigieg uh, finishes second in New Hampshire primary. Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> Klobuchar. Klobuchar. Uh, Klobuchar. Klobuchar. Okay, third, Edison Research. Like, okay, so but they didn't mention the first place, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> what, 
Who's first? That's what I said. Who's on first? The suspense is killing us. Yes. Yeah, we had to turn to another uh, to another outlet to find out who was first. Yeah. Uh, no, these. I'm sure. I'm sure in the story it would it would indicate who won, but uh, it's just ridiculous. It, it, it's ridiculous headlines to you know to try and uh, to try and do a soft landing. Oh, oh, oh! Look at Warren. 27.5 for Bernie, 27.8 for Bernie, Vita Jag, Warren's fourth. That was, that's when they were still counting. Uh, oh. The, uh, the, the final count uh, had, had different numbers, but but that's when she understood that, that she had, if she had no, you know, no, no hope when she started making her speech, and it was really, uh. Complaining? Really, uh, yeah. Says complaining about Bernie with some obscure reason, and for a VP of the U.S. Con contrasting his experience to a small mayor in an ad. Welcome to politics. What? Yeah, uh, people are, are are being a little bit uh, a little bit snarky with uh, with uh, Elizabeth Warren because. Uh, well, first of all, she she didn't endorse Bernie last time uh -huh. when he ran against uh, <clears throat> he ran against Hillary. She endorsed Hillary. Oh. And then uh, and then when uh, when uh, you know this time again she's she's starting uh, you know well here's the other thing when Bernie announced that he was running as a as a uh, as a you know, progressive candidate. A lot of people thought she should have just supported him and backed him. You know, mm -hmm. and instead she ran against him. No. Uh -huh. And said, "Okay, well that's fine, run against him." But then, but then she started playing dirty, and now, and now people are just really got a, a, a distaste for for Elizabeth Warren. Uh -huh. And you know, just politics is ugly. You know, and. Uh, <laughs> You end up, you end up uh, hurting people's feelings. Well, let's hear the, let's hear Bernie's thing here. <laughs> His <laughs> moment. Tonight. Wow. So there's a chance. There's a big chance, huh? Because everybody kept yeah. telling me, no, nah, there's no chance. He'll never win. Everybody loves this guy. Yay! He's so much like AMLO. It warms my heart to think that it's possible that <laughs> Americans would actually pay attention yeah. and stop being screwed by the rich people. <laughs> the rich 1% they always mention, right? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Oh. Oh, really? That'd be probably good to watch. Well, I, I saw uh, the, uh, I just saw the, the, uh, the video of Chris Matthews losing it. It's, Thank you. It's, it's hard to find because uh, MSNBC pulled it off. Oh. Yeah, they, they Thank it you, off, New Hampshire. Sure. The only place you can see it is on uh, people that, that <clears throat> you know, take video screenshots of their phone. Uh-huh. Thank you, New Hampshire. Can't download it from the internet. Let, oh. me, let me take this opportunity to thank the people of New Hampshire for a great victory tonight. Yay! <laughs> wow. And, and the let me thank the thousands of volunteers in New Hampshire 
Thank you. Who knocked on doors in the rain and the snow and the cold. Yeah. The reason that we won tonight in New Hampshire, we won last week in Iowa. Although they wouldn't say it. <laughs> it's because of the hard work of so many volunteers. And let me say tonight that this victory here is the beginning of the end for Donald Trump. Yay! <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I just hold a grudge because he kept saying mean things about Mexicans. I'm just not over it. Well, and and all the lying and cheating and all that kind of upsets me. We're going to Nevada. We're going to South Carolina. Yeah, all that. We're going to win those states as well. Corruption. And tonight I want to take the opportunity to express my appreciation and respect for all of the Democratic candidates we ran against. Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden. And what I can tell you, with absolute certainty, and I know I speak for every one of the Democratic candidates, is that no matter who wins, he didn't want to be around for it. Oh. So, so you said somebody lost pretty bad MS, let's see, MSNBC? No, MSNBC. On who? Uh, go, uh, what's his name? Chris Matthews. He's, a, he's the host of, um, Okay, Matthews. Live? Let's, let's, see, if they, let's see if they show Chris Matthews. Calls New Hampshire primary a snow fight. Chris Matthews, Trump wants payback. Chris Matthew. Four days ago, five days ago. Talking about Bernie is a socialist. You don't have that one. Oh, let's see, Bernie. Bernie is a is a is a socialist or a communist or something. Why do you still? Why do you? Why do you still start in Iowa? Uh, hardball, Chris Matthews. Yeah, you see, they they don't even have the. Uh, they don't even have the video of him losing. <laughs> he oh. lost his mind. Even uh, uh, Chris Hayes was sitting next to him, just looking at him like he's like he with his eyes open, he's <laughs> leaning back trying to get out of the shot. Like on this. Chris <laughs> Matthews. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Glenn McCaskill was sitting right next to him, just like quiet and looking side of like, oh Jesus, this guy's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. If they show it, I doubt it. It snowed today yeah. in New Hampshire, yeah. like it did here in 1968, when Eugene McCarthy trudged through the state to prove that Let Lyndon Johnson's it. days were numbered. For Pete's sake. I love it here. I've loved it since my parents took my brothers and me on those wonderful summer road trips. And that time we rented a farmhouse along a country road in Bradford, where I played a piano much of an afternoon all by myself in a summer stock theater. All by myself. Even if I didn't really know how to play a piano. And now I'm watching Bernie and Pete duke it out up here, fighting what looks to be a run of preliminary bouts to see who could outlast the outspending Mike Bloomberg. Yesterday I watched Buttigieg standing in the midst of a veterans group, and this morning I watched Sanders before the Institute of Politics at St. Ambrose's College. The Senator from Vermont hit on an issue that we've addressed here on Hardball and will again many times, voter suppression. If I cannot win an election based on my ideas, then I shouldn't win the election. How cowardly can you be? 
if you don't think your ideas are going to prevail, then get out of politics and get another job. I like what Sanders said, because the only reason to be in politics, as Maine Senator Edmund Muskie once told us, is to be out there all alone and then be proven right. And that's what this presidential election is about, at least in the early going from here in New Hampshire into uh, Nevada and South Carolina. It's about standing out there and hoping that people will listen and agree. Up here in wintry New Hampshire, it looks like a snow oh. fight between Pete and Bernie. Oh. So he was you know, upset. I watched Bernie this morning, and he, yes. made, he gave a very strong, very passionate case about health care. That was where he gets raped. I can't even pause it. Was very, Passionate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an ideological approach. I, I saw Buttigieg yesterday with a lot of service people. I can't Not get it to even pause. Really, I'll get you home tonight. It like yeah. locked the, the up. Designated driver. Yeah. Oh, good lord. One oh. Oh man. So look at this one. Washington Post opinion: Iowa and New Hampshire voters have bad taste in candidates because yeah. they pick Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> Why are these states first again? Okay, and then it says, and then this person says, nobody famous. I thought the customer was always right. And this one says, the Washington Post has bad taste in writers. And this one says, this is a very fun, funny article that starts with a paragraph explaining that one state voted Republican uh, candidate Ted Cruz and the other voted for Republican candidate Donald Trump. The entire rest of the article is about how the author hates Bernie Sanders. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So let's see. He should be mocked. <laughs> Here comes the stories to minimize Sanders' victory. <laughs> I'm once again asking you to go cry about it. <laughs> and this one, the taste understander with a fresh face suit has logged on. Laugh my ass off. Cry harder. What? Ah, what is this? I'm not owned. I'm not owned. I continue to insist I slowly shrink and transform into a corn cob. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm once again asking you to go cry about it. What? <laughs> what is this? Hillary Clinton is more blank and Sanders in one sentence. What? Ha ha ha, Bernie is going to win. <laughs> Man, <laughs> go, go back and click on that on that uh, on that Hillary uh, on the Hillary one. This one, yeah, click on that one. Who is that? Stephen Stromberg. Why Hillary Clinton is more progressive than Bernie Sanders in one sentence? Do you click on it? it says, go on to the next one. See what the next sentence is. Joe Biden scolds progressives, and he's right. Oh, who is that guy? Oh. Or they're just trying to they're trying to show you who the Steven Sandberg guy is. Yeah. They're 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 uh, they're bringing up his bona fides so you know. You know we'll put up that original. <laughs> Pose mad. <laughs> what is this? It's a seething monster wearing a, a smiley face. Oh okay. <laughs> Somebody sent me that once. Yeah. Because I because I expressed a, 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 a solidarity for the uh, for the the children uh, being bombed in in, uh, in Palestine. I got bombarded by uh, by 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 a bunch of uh, uh, internet trolls. Oh. Delete the tweet. You don't say anything that 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 uh, is nice about Palestine because by by insinuation, you're anti-Semitic. Oh, Israel. Oh, <laughs> big cow for so, Bernie. What? Look at this one. <laughs> no, they have great taste. You're in. It says no. They have great taste. You're insulting millions of working class people just because 
the corporate puppets are getting their asses kicked by a socialist. <laughs> Oh, well, has another thing. Somewhere uh, there's a, uh, a a poll that says that 74 percent of Democrats are willing to vote for socialists. Uh -oh. oh, it sounds exactly like this. Trump and Bernie's are the same because they believe in different things. <laughs> <laughs> Face it, Trump and Bernie are two sides of the same coin. They both distrustful of elites and harangue them at every opportunity. <laughs> wow. But you know, the thing that really gets to me... <laughs> what? <laughs> Centrist tears? Yeah. Oh, he's drinking their tears? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, Iowa bad taste when Hillary won it in 2016. <laughs> Did she really, though? <laughs> really? Which hack is this? I refuse to click. <laughs> white, okay, overwhelming white voters in the media are telling the overwhelmingly white voters in Iowa and New Hampshire that they have bad taste. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Let's see what this one says. It's just a gif. Oh, it's just a gif. Uh, doesn't have some. <laughs> no, it's yeah. the children who are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why I always so important this time? What what good are the Iowa caucuses anyway? Uh, Jennifer Rubin, she's a uh, she's a Republican who writes for the Washington Post. Oh, uh, so they're upset, <laughs> a little bit upset. Yeah. Why? Because they didn't vote the way you wanted them to. <laughs> That's what somebody said. I'm once again asking, go cry about it, man. They say that a lot. This is the best <laughs> meme ever I've seen in, in the pics. Thanks. I and love it when they when they uh, when they make those those fake uh, Bernie you know uh, tweets. <laughs> he says they're really ridiculous. It's not Bernie, you know, and it's clearly a fake. Uh -huh. I think it's funny. And why? And you wonder why we say bad things about you? Laugh my ass off. Oh God. But you know what? What I was thinking was, you know how when they uh, announced, and they did that the last time too, right? Every time Bernie was ahead, they always would announce the second and third place. Uh, last year was it, or I mean, the last uh, well, election? Well, the, not. It's not always, but it just it just seems to happen a little too too much. And it seems that it seems when they when it happens, it always happens to Bernie. You know, it's just uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They just don't notice. Oh my uh, gosh! Uh, no, that you know when they like uh, during the you know April and you know in the middle of last year when they when they they had polls up on the uh, up on the. Uh, up on the board that you know they they would uh, leave Bernie out of them. Uh, Bernie was second. They would put him in fourth. They would put his number correct, but they would put it down at the fourth spot, so it looked like he, like he wasn't even in the in the race. You know? Yeah. So look here, look here. White voters. Sanders, twenty six percent. Beauty gig or whatever his name is, twenty five percent. Non white voters. Sanders, thirty two percent. Beauty gig, fifteen percent. But they highlight Butigig or whatever his name is. Well, they they're doing that because uh, they're trying to show you what kind of uh, the, the the difference in his in in in, the, in his uh, basis. So that he was able to get second among uh, among white, but but. Well, so. So, so but it. also, isn't that freaking? Like uh, a little bit racist to do. <laughs> Say, oh, you're only winning with them. You're not winning with us. <laughs> well, oh my gosh. 
Bernie's. So this was what wound up happening here. The Bernie's um, 28%. Was this the last one or one of the beginning ones? I think this is, this is today. Okay. But I'm not sure. Uh, they, they should have a time. It says five hours ago. Five hours yeah. ago. So was that about uh, the time? Uh, no, no. It was after that? There was. There, there would be more... They would be more more uh, correct uh, final numbers, but I, I I don't know exactly where to go find them right now. But you could look for them. But okay, so what? Case, where did they say? Uh, where where were you watching uh, when they announced the um, announced primary results at New Hampshire? New Hampshire. Actually, uh, I I wasn't even here. I, I, New I, Hampshire I, I primary. I, I, was, I was trying to do it in my car. Results. As, as I'm driving. And announced. I go through Twitter and I, and I, and I finally just, just leave it alone and wait till you get home. And, okay. But I, I knew he was going to do well. But uh, I'm sure somebody recorded it. Yeah. Uh, good night, New Hampshire. Hello, Nevada. But when, but when, when, he, uh, when he made the announcement, that's when I finally... When I finally rested, yeah, you know, because I I was afraid that they were going to try some other kind of bullshit fuckery again, you know. But yeah. Now that everybody was watching them so closely, they they could. <laughs> yeah. No way to do it. Wow. No way. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. We everybody was worried that they were going to do something again, right? Yeah. yeah. What about Trump? What's he doing? I don't see well, his name anywhere. He's just sitting, waiting. Well, he's actually, you know what he did uh, today? It was just kind of, was just kind of interesting. Um, they somebody put up a video of, uh, of Mike Bloomberg saying some really racist shit uh, to some people that he uh, about, out, about spending his uh, stock and. Uh, and why he did it uh anyway uh the uh come on people get in here the uh somebody put it up and it, it really looked bad and uh and donald trump put up a tweet a big giant tweet saying mike bloomberg is a racist <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> come on out but he quickly deleted it because <laughs> Maybe we'll save it in case he gets into the, into the, into the general election. If he wins the primary, then we'll bring it out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I wonder if this is the last one. <laughs> Irony. The funniest goddamn thing of, uh, of uh, Donald Trump, you know, is... I'm sure he was unironically doing it too. Oh my god! He actually has to take the place. Oh my gosh! That is really funny, though. It, 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 can you imagine? The racist that you could have, where he had to call you out, Susan. Yeah, that's something. Sanders declares victory. Another say goodbye. Oh, let's see. Andrew Yang. Thank you, New Hampshire. Let me hey there, I'm Domenico Montanaro, tonight. senior political editor and correspondent this here at NPR. And I'm Danielle Kurtzleben, political reporter. And we're here to, we're here to talk about my word. Look at it. Second, keeping his overall delegate lead. So many of you decided that a middle class mayor and a veteran from the industrial Midwest was the right choice to take on this president, not in spite of that experience, but because of it. Yeah. 
the prize money with a strong third place. My heart is full yeah. tonight. Well, there are still ballots left to count. We have beaten the odds every step of the way. But if we're going to beat Donald Trump in November, we are going to need a huge turnout within our party. And to get that turnout, we will need a nominee that the broadest coalition of our party feels like they can get behind. Fourth disappointing. Mm, mm, mm. I've been coming here a long time. When I die, I want to be reborn in Charleston, actually. I, we just heard from the first two of 50 states. Two of them. Not all the nation. Not half the nation. Not a quarter of the nation. Not 10%. Two. Two. Now, where I come from, that's the opening bell. I think I'm doing fine. I think that uh, we're going to come out of New Hampshire and come to Nevada, where, in fact, I've already come. Mm -hmm. Wow. And thank you to each and every person who made this campaign possible. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I will support the nominee yeah. of my party, no matter who it is, to, de to, to make sure that we defeat Donald Trump. <laughs> Anything but him. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, the thing is... All right, see you later. Uh, I'm stopping that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I, I always find it interesting that... Uh, that it seems like they they try to like stick their head in the ground like an ostrich and not see, you know, uh, when it comes to Bernie. But man, I'm so excited! I'm so excited that he's doing so much better. I think yeah. he actually has a chance. Someone once told me he doesn't have a chance at all, and uh, now I see that there is definitely hope. And I have hope for America, hope for the Americans, because um, I've seen what is possible with AMLO. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador in Mexico, he's showing them what's possible, you know, with, with the reforms that he's done and, and the changes in the Constitution that guarantee the, the rights that were already in the Constitution, which were right to health care, a right to education, uh, a right for um, money for the elderly and the disabled, and fighting corruption and, and all of that. It's all beautiful. And and I love the way he cares about his people. And on the weekends, he goes and he visits all the different um, uh, communities that are not getting to see uh, what's really happening and teaching them all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you saying he doesn't even own a golf course? <laughs> Shut up. No, man. What kind of a president doesn't even own a golf course? I don't know. Well, he gave up that airplane, too. <laughs> hey, and by the way, um, what they're doing instead of uh, auctioning off the airplane is that they're giving uh, uh, two, I think, a hundred um, prizes of 20 million each. Uh, to to the people and then the the plane they're leaving it with a military and or renting it and if they find a buyer they'll still sell it so it'll be a, above and on top of what they get for the for the um so they're gonna have like an extra thousand two thousand no two thousand million uh pesos and and then whatever they sell the plane for is gonna be sugar on top or cherry on top, right? And then, uh, and and they still have the use of the plane or rent it. I think they've already got one contract to rent it for a year, and people are still offering to buy it. So he did. He was. He did a genius move there. Everybody wants a piece of that. Uh, uh, uh those five hundred uh, peso gachos, cachitos. They're little. Uh, what do you call them? The raffle tickets. The raffle tickets are are uh, five hundred pesos, so that's what like uh, there's 
20 like 25 right like 25 bucks each something like that where you at well i lost my brother okay but anyway so it's about 25 pesos each all right you guys i'm gonna let you go now i just wanted to share that with you today have a great day or night bye